És akkor közben, közben lesznek bevágva még képek, Igen, miközben beszélek. Szuper. Jó estét kívánok, szeretettel köszöntök mindenkit a fugában. A Nemzetközi Kilt Art csoport kiállítását nyitjuk meg. Sajnos a járványhelyzet miatt a kiállítók nem tudnak itt lenni. Bornemi Szeesztert viszont köszönhetem, aki budapesti, és neki köszönhetjük, hogy itt van most ez a kiállítás. Ő fog mondani néhány mondatot, és utána pedig Molnár Eszter művészettörténész nyitja meg a kiállítást. Hello, welcome everyone in the world who is looking at our online opening. Um, because of the pandemic, we couldn't uh, expect many people here and uh, lots of members who wanted to come couldn't do that. So uh, that's why we chose the solution that it will be, there will be an online uh, an opening and my dear friend Esther will talk in English so that you will understand what she says. Uh, we are very happy to be in the Fuga Gallery that we have been expect, accepted to exhibit here, and we are very grateful for that. Thank you very much. Thank you, Esther. Um, dear artists and guests, welcome to the Budapest Leg of Exhibition Material Evidence here at the Fuga Gallery. Quilt Art, a group founded in 1985, 
consistently, consistently present during exhibitions. This exhibition, Material Evidence, has already been shown in June 1920 uh, at the Manier Gallery in London. After Budapest, it will tour two venues in Germany and the venue at the Netherlands in 2021. This exhibition uh, may very well be considered um, to celebrate the legacy of founder member Mary Fogg. Fellow members of the group regard Fogg to have been a pioneer of wheeled art, that is, making art by sewing strips of fabrics into textile pictures. And also one who experimented with this art form with an indestructible curiosity. By all accounts, she was not only a source of both professional and friendly support, but also an organizer of many social events, someone who helped uh, others, queer artists, to find their way. In 1998, for created a work consisting of three pieces, of three pieces. Uh, by the title the same of the exhibition, Material Evidence Triptych. Um, this tapestry, uh, the theme is prejudice, uh, as evidenced by its subtitle. Um, the, the title of this uh, work is about the absurd ways by we judge each other. Fogg's uh, quilted triptych, in effect, a composition of her own idiosyncratic symbols embroidered uh, with text, among others, a few lines taken from the bittersweet poem to a fat lady seen from a train by Francis Canford, recalls those Renaissance and Baroque emblem looks intended for edification of their readers. Although the exhibition material evidence also features works by Charlotte Ude, and Fenella Davies made in the same triptych design. The exhibition itself does not refer to this very piece by Fogg. It is rather a, an homage to her spirit which has inspired the members of the group and her exemplary work as an artist. Firstly, I would like to talk about Janet Twin, whose recollections uh, published in the catalog for the exhibition which is here, uh, close to the door, uh, mentioned those times when she was living close to by Fox, so they often had ample opportunity to meet and, and talk about their work. Regent Furo, this is the uh, title of the textile picture made by Twin, was inspired by lively colors of summer fields and the rustic material materiality of bricks in a stone wall. Both its subject matter and the emotions evoked by it make this piece a reminder of Fogg's vibrant landscapes, since Fogg also made several colorful quilted landscapes. Not unlike Twin, Sandra Meech uh, also take landscapes as a starting point. For her, however, they are also the end result. Using a series of sketches made in the Willy Wally of Wiltshire and Somerton in Somerset, she produced work uh, consisting of five pieces recording the change of season, seasons. Sorry. To my eyes, uh, the geometric forms of these five textile pictures are uh, reminiscent of Cezanne's exciting combination of colors. I view the catch by Fanella Davies, uh, also made in the triptych design uh, as a maritime landscape, drawing viewers' attention to overfishing and waste pollution. The dark background colors used in the series express those already very real threats in a dramatic way. The net soon into the picture plane was caught several motifs. However, these motifs do not directly uh, refer to, for example, seahorses or even plastic waste shapes. All in all, this work called Catch 
comes, uh, comes across a semi-abstract but very much expressive landscape. Elizabeth Brimlow did an extremely interesting experiment in synesthesia with a friend of hers who lived in Hazel Grove near Manchester. By drawing visual marks on a long strip of paper, she was reacting to recordings of various sounds heard in the studio of, of her friend, such as uh, waves, rain, seagulls, chirping birds, talk, children playing in the background and silence. Finally, she spirited those patterns from paper onto a roll of quilt, meandering three-dimensional to produce a colorful, happy, playful soundscape or map. Esther Bornemissa's work also assigns a central role to maps, both as concrete material for pictures and a metaphor for human existence. Her piece on view, titled Allegro Barbaro, offers an experiment in synesthesia similar to one made by Brimlow. Allegro Barbaro, composed between 1910 and 1911 by Béla Bartók, is one of the most famous pieces by Hungarian composer. Esther Borna Missa drew inspiration from her recollections of Bartók's music when creating her work. The expressive coils of sound turn into visual marks, not unlike the playful shapes of um, a work uh, called Constellation, according to the Laws of Chance by Jean Arp, the artist. Um, Charlotte Ud honors uh, her deceased loved ones in her work titled The Ones That Cut Away. Delicate light uh, ships and souls float upon his uh, this triptych sorry, of textile in an atmosphere of rather uh, Syrian daydreaming. Uh, I would like to take a Hungarian analogy again and mention Endre Balint, who created one of the most magical late surrealist oeuvres uh, of 20th century art. Balint plays with exciting amb ambiguities, just as Uda does. The moon stands watch over the peaceful landscapes. But it is here really the moon, not a stylized urobara serpent, lightly drawn in the Japanese ink. That was a question. The theme of uh, remembering uh, dead souls is apparent also in relics-like series of found textiles created by Sherilyn Martin and titled Seven Souls. By adding uh, poignant text, and brightening and appliques, she transforms bags originally used for industrial machinery, packaging and gave them new identity. The piece by Inge Huber titled The Sea presents a chromatic scale of 40 different home dyed shades of blue, which is the color of transcendence. Huber started from her experience of the sea in Broadstairs, Kent, let me paraphrase uh, Michel Mollet du Jordan's thought on uh, Europe and the sea. Mountains, the desert, and the sea induce meditation alike, and since the sea is immense, it is able to make the soul uh, turn towards infinity. Huber's creation achieves a meditative uh, state of mind in the viewer as well. On the contrary, the piece by Karina Thompson, titled uh, recovery quilt one or I, I, I didn't uh, uh, recognize which is the good solution of this title, uh, is so shockingly colorful and bright as to produce an awakening effect. The result, it is not only a source stirring firework of colors and shapes, but also a magical object of wish fulfillment in its maker's self therapy. Dikre van der Horst Betzma shares a really personal view of family memorabilia with us. Her composition, titled uh, Witzke's Postcards, tells us about her, uh, the troubles of her mother's family had to go uh, through. Her mother kept an album with uh, so-called uh, paleographic evidence of the family that is 
letters from the grandfather who was away fighting in the First World War and also family photos. These tangible objects used by van der Horst Basma as appliques in her work make her guilt a commemoration and tribute to, the, to her elders. At the same time, her composition is not unrelated to popular 60s arts movement uh, called male art, which made the use of some forms or object of postal services, such as uh, stamps, telegram, package, and, and so on. Let me also uh, refer to those Hungarian tapestry artists, uh, Livia Pápai, Zsuzsa Péreli, and Nora Tápai, whose oeuvre assigns a central role to photos used as found object and personal memorabilia. Text used uh, as image is a theme in more than one artist's works. Apart from van der Horst Betzma, I would like to name Jette Clover and Sarah Impey, uh, who chose different approaches for the interplay of text and textile picture. On the piece, Words 9, by Jette Clover, steps of text used in a similar way to decollage make the work vibrantly decorative. Clover has also used parts of letters from family and friends, which makes her work especially intimate. I am reminded of the Hungarian tapestry artist Esther Bényi, who created a tapestry titled Manna Levelei, Letters from Manna, with her art historian mother handwritten letters. Yael David Cohen uh, uses aphoristic text as image in her works titled Newsflash and Good News. By painting on newspapers printed on fabric, she has created a number of very dynamic and expressive compositions which almost look like flags here. Uh, recycling uh, is a central element of the work uh, called Haptic Feedback by Sarah Impey. As explained by Impey in the catalog for the exhibition, she had been keeping all the color threads of cats for 10 years, and this is what she used for her composition. Art forms such as the modernist classic collage and post-Second World War decollage are not unrelated to recycled art, so much uh, needed nowadays, and also fashionable because they transmute some dirt cheap or uh, even waste material into a work of art. Again, uh, the figure of Mary Fogg is being called upon. Fogg was committed, committed to recycling all sorts of fabrics too, as opposed to Jette Clover's approach. However, the text, embroidered by Impey, expressly homage is also apparent as Impey lends her voice to those unnamed makers who created influential works in the past. Uh, for example, one of the most uh, embroidered uh, tapestries, the early medieval, uh, very famous bio tapestry, which is also written in the tapestry. It still is uh, from a life, 54, by Domini Nash. Uh, mundane objects such as vases and vessels collected by the artist are given a starring role. To my eyes, both the finished guild and the scratches are uh, used reminiscent of the easy happiness evoked by still life by Matisse in the 1920s. The incredibly rich and colorful works by Sue Hodgkins to give the impression of landscapes or maps. Her piece titled, uh, titled Ortigia was inspired by traveling in Sicily, while the piece titled Phoenix was uh, inspired by distressed wood broken down due to the forces of nature found in an old barn in France. Other artists who discovered surfaces of exciting uh, visuality, such as the famous American photographer Iron Shishkind. And also George Brashai of Hungarian uh, descent uh, verse mentioning. I am expressly, uh, expressly referring uh, to the series of photos titled Graffiti, uh, also by Brashai in the 50s. 
on her work titled, Can We Leave Things As They Are? My Miriam Pat Jacobs has created a space of unusual perspective. Dominant uh, points of direction results in our sentence uh, sense of space quite uh, deliberately. In the catalog for the exhibition, Pat Jacobs writes that, quote, world is changing faster than ever, unquote. Huge white frames symbolize a million ways for virtuality. And brightened upon them, headless figures stand around, helpless and baffled. Maybe exactly because they are flooded with sheer number and weight all of the data. A propose of the piece by Pat Jacobs as a way of putting the final notes to this opening speech, I would like to share my opinion on the contemporary role and importance of textile and tapestry art. In 1985, Jean-Francois Lyotard organized an, exhibi an, an exhibition called uh, Les en Matériaux at the Centre Pompidou in Paris, uh, built on the thesis that the electronic, the electronic media revolution has started a fast-growing immaterial immaterialization of human life, meaning at least a partial demand of human life. Uh, it is highly symbolic, I think, that the group Quilt Art was founded in the same year, 1985. Virtuality has brought a uh, lot of good things and many causes for worry at the same time for humankind. I would like to cite an important contemporary philosopher, Hans Ulrich Gumbrecht, quote the philosopher, Contemporary communication technologies are doubtlessly clamped close to fulfilling the dream of omnipresence, which is the dream of making lived experience independent of the locations that our bodies occupy in space." Unquote. However, quote, the more we approach the fulfillment of our dreams of omnipresence, and the more definite the subsequ subsequent loss of our bodies and of the spatial dimensions in our existence seems to be, the greater the possibility becomes of reigniting the desire that attracts us to the things of the world and wraps us into their space." Unquote. I believe that in the present age, chock full of abstract meanings and virtuality, many have already re re uh, recognized a burning need for intense creative work and opportunities for encountering and experimenting with also so-called material reality. In the English language, the title of, of this exhibition, Material Evidence, can also mean proof a body of evidence and the tangible quality of material. The wonderful quilt pictures on show today present material evidence for the physical presence and the resilience of the artist, but uh, they are also representatives of a smart revolution against a world that has become too virtual. Creators and viewers of these artworks will escape from nets uh, of virtuality and, uh, and, an, and, an, and an age which is uh, too fast, uh, at least for the time devoted to the artwork. So thank you for your uh, attention and, and enjoy the exhibition, the beautiful ex exhibition. Thank you.